So I don't have a PS5. I, I know, I know, I, I still want to talk about it. Specifically about scaplers. It baffles me to this day that there are people out there that manage to sell them for a hefty amount of money. Now, scaplers are nothing new when it comes to video games. They appear whenever there's a low supply, high demand for a product, which are common when a new generation console comes out. The latest one that I can recall was the Nintendo Wii. It was Nintendo's biggest selling console and everybody wanted one. That was back when this thing was really hard to find in stores. Whenever my dad and I go out, we would always check on GameStop to see if they have one in stock. We did this for a while and managed to get one out of pure luck. I have to stress that this thing was hard to find in stores. Scaplers were selling it for almost $200 more than the MSRP. But that doesn't mean that this thing is not possible to get them. Now sure, I wasn't able to get this during my birthday or Christmas, but I got it without dealing with scaplers. That's the most important thing I want to talk about, because I'm seeing this through and through again that they are going to exist because of the demand for the product. The PS5 is going through the same thing, except it's during the freaking pandemic. How, how is that okay? I understand that the PS5 is not an essential item, but that doesn't change the fact that, that there is a demand for a product during a time of crisis. What's frustrating is that there are organized scaplers out there that use bots to buy these large quantities of PS5. Are you kidding me? Not only are they buying up the stock on already low supply, but also taking advantage of the high demand during a high season. That's where most of the money is gonna go through. People want to buy them during the holidays, and the worst part is they're actually buying them for almost a thousand dollars. By definition, that technically means the value of the PS5 is worth that much. Which is sad to me because the value is not justifiable. In my Amiibo video, I mentioned how the secondhand market sometimes can get ridiculous due to the high price. But that's only because those are not being manufactured anymore. The value becomes more consistent over time due to the existing quantity. Video game consoles value tends to be lower than the MSRP after production stopped. Look at the Nintendo Wii for example. The current value for a complete one in a box is around $150. That's roughly $100 less than its MSRP, not counting inflation. There's nothing wrong with the Wii, it's just Nintendo managed to manufacture plenty of this product for the consumers, which dwindles the scaplers. After all, the whole point of the Wii is to play games. Nintendo has to make sure that the consumer gets the console so that they can increase the software sales. By the time Nintendo stops production for the Wii, the value becomes lower than the MSRP due to the large quantity. The PS5 will follow the same suit. Scalpers will dwindle down once more PS5 are being manufactured. Maybe not before the holidays, but eventually they will. Remember, the PS5 hasn't been out for a year. Sony will make more because they also want to sell games to the consumer. That's how they make profit to begin with. Sony will make more PS5. But right now, scaplers are taking advantage on this opportunity. I'm not happy about that, but I'm also not happy that consumers are actually caving into the scaplers price. The value isn't worth that much in the long term. Personally, I can wait on buying a PS5. It's way too early in this life cycle for me to justify the purchase. In every new console generation, I always follow my rule of three. I try to think at least three games that I absolutely want before purchasing the console. I did that with my PS4 and it helped me a lot. Sure, it was near the end of the life cycle, but man, there were so many games during the time when I wanted to buy a PS4. Just so many. So yeah, that definitely helped me buy the console. With the PS5, there's currently one game I want, which is Demon's Souls. That's about it, and that's not enough for me to buy a PS5 quite yet. What about Miles Morales? Oh uh, yeah, Miles Morales. The game looks good. However, it's also on the PS4. If I really wanted it, I could get it on that console instead. Even though there's maybe a graphical upgrade on the PS5, it's not enough of a jump for me to make it into my top 3. The point of this is for a justification to spend the console money, which is $4.99 MSRP. Also, PS5 game costs $70 now, so yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit more strict on my top 3 games that I really want to get whenever purchasing a new console. Anyway, I hope this helps out for people not buying a PS5 from Scaplers. 
and hopefully encouraging on waiting until more game comes sale. But anyway, what do you guys think? Leave it a comment down below, give it a like, it helps with my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!